Hi, I'm Carrie Meek Gallagher, Regional Director for New York State DEC here on Long Island. And today we're standing out at the Underhill Preserve in Jericho, New York. And I'm here with our Regional Forester, John Mornet, who's going to tell us about this uh, introduction of goats here at the preserve this year to help us battle invasive species. John. That's right. This will be the second time we, the DC, have used goats, and we're using them here at approximately six acres of grassland. And what we want to do is control the invasives from coming in and to maintain the grassland. So this is uh, similar to the original grasslands that existed way back prehistoric, essentially? Correct. That's what we're hoping to accomplish wow. by having the goats to maintain this grassland. Okay. What we have here right now is a, an eclectic group of uh, seven goats and we're going to be adding at least uh, three or four more. Uh, they, uh, they're going to consume all the invasives, but most, of most particular interest here is poison ivy and uh, uh, floribunda, anything with thorns. And it happens to be two of the goat's favorite foods. But they will eat about 20% of their body weight a day. So John, which invasive species are you showing us now? This is myelominate, and you can identify it by the triangular shaped leaves and the thorns. And it's uh, problematic because it, it's capable of growing up to six inches a day. Wow, that's pretty fast, huh? Yep, and it can overtake uh, native species because it grows so fast, it will smother them. Okay, and the goats don't have an issue with the, the thorns or? No, goats are better than sheep because they can deal with the thorns. And are they, is it better than having um, mechanical removal? I think so. I think it's much better alternative than machinery or using pesticides. It's right. green. Great. So. Let's make sure the goats eat this up. That's right. <laughs>